Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the unqualified command of the Second Amendment, okay? Um, and of course I'm talking about the nice Serpa versus Bruin Supreme Court decision on gun rights. Uh, and when I heard Justice Thomas uh, phrase it that way, it, it blew my mind. Now, most people, you know, have never heard the term unqualified um, in this context, okay? Um, and there's no reason why they would. I mean, uh, it's just not the way we normally talk, okay? Because uh, I have an accounting background uh, and I have, you know, basically I've been, basically I'm a trained auditor, okay? So I went to school, I got an accounting degree. One of the things I studied was auditing. Uh, for, when I got out of college, a couple of, for a couple of years, I was involved in some audits. And uh, one of the things that, you know, that, that as auditors will do is we'll, we'll audit the financial statements of companies. An audit is basically just a check. You're, you're checking the financial statements of companies. Um, uh, and, it, and it could also be a personal financial statement as well. And what you do is you issue either an unqualified opinion or a qualified opinion okay and i gotta tell you guys when i first heard this phrase I, in, in my auditing class i think i was something like either 19 or 20 years old um I, I i didn't understand it had never heard it put in that uh context i understand what the word qualify meant in qualify in terms of you know if you qualify for something as if you meet the requirements but in this context it has a completely different meaning okay um when we in, in auditing when we say we're giving an unqualified opinion uh it means that we're giving an opinion that these financial statements are you know in accordance with gap generally accepted accounting principles without exception okay so that's what unqualified means it means without exception if you qualify an opinion right uh in accounting circles Right. Uh, and of course, these terms, I guess, go back to a much earlier version of English that people would, would speak. Again, we don't talk that way these days. But if you qualify an opinion, uh, it means that you're giving it with exceptions. And an exception might be, for example, if I'm doing an audit, uh, if I was not there, let's say, at the beginning of the year, right, or when they did an inventory, right, or when they did last year's ending inventory, Right. Uh, that's just that's an exception. Right. It's like, OK, this everything looks good, except for the fact that I wasn't there at the beginning of the year to inspect the inventory. So that would be I would be qualifying uh, the financial statements with that. I'd be issuing that except for everything is good, except for that. I wasn't there to, to you know, to, to check it at the beginning of the, of the year. Um, so when when Justice Thomas writes uh, or speaks of the unqualified command of the second amendment uh what he's saying is that you know that's the command of the second amendment and there's no exceptions there's no buts right because a lot of times when you have like a lot of these fuds right um that uh that talk about gun rights there's always like the except for there's the but you know there's there's no exception okay now the interesting thing is that a lot of the founding fathers actually like in the you know when they in some of the writings they did speak of exceptions like for example i think it was george washington that that he said that uh uh, pe uh people who are peaceful peaceable uh should not you know, basically what he's saying is peaceful people should not be restricted from carrying and owning guns right uh, i'm paraphrasing i don't remember the exact words but that's that's an exception right so when he's making that quote right when he's saying i think george washington is actually uh, giving a, a qualified, you know, he's qualifying. He's saying that, yeah, people have uh, the right to bear, you know, ha have a right to carry guns, but he's making an exception. He's saying the people that are peaceable, right? But that's not what went into the Second Amendment, which was negotiated, right? Uh, which everybody agreed to, okay? Uh, the Second Amendment, okay, uh, does not have any exceptions, right? It's it's unqualified as the way uh, Justice Thomas put it, okay? There's no exceptions. What that means is, I don't care how many felonies you have, I don't care how many people you might have murdered, okay, if you're out on the street, okay, you have a right to a gun. Now, you know, now, the, I mean, how do we deal with that as a society? Well, obviously, the obvious answer here is if somebody is so dangerous 
uh, that they shouldn't have a gun. They don't belong out in society. They need to either be locked up in jail or institutionalized if they're crazy. Um, but, you know, putting extremely dangerous people or crazy people uh, or dangerously crazy people into society uh, and saying that, okay, we're letting you out, but we're just not going to let you have guns doesn't make them any less dangerous because they're going to, they can find other weapons, other tools. They can get access to a car and run over people, you know, get a gallon of gasoline and start fires and burn down buildings with entire families and living in them. Um, so, so the point here is that if somebody is that dangerous that they don't deserve guns, they don't deserve to be, they, they, they should not be out in society. They, they might need treatment. They might need hospitalization. They might need medication, whatever. But at the point where somebody uh, is deemed safe enough to be out, out in society, they get a gun. Okay. Um, so uh, that's, I, I just wanted to bring this, you know, make this point to you guys that uh, when I first, when I, when I, first heard of the way that uh, Clarence Thomas phrased this uh, when he said the unqualified command of the Second Amendment. He's pointing out that there's no exceptions uh, in the Second Amendment, okay? Um, and here's the thing. Uh, it's a right to bear arms, okay? It doesn't say right to bear small arms. It's a right to bear arms. Arms is short for armaments. We have a right to machine guns, okay? Uh, the entire NFA Gun Control Act is dead, okay? It's just a matter of time, but it's going to die. It's going to die probably by death by a thousand cuts. Uh, don't expect any big court case to come out to strike down the, the NFA. Uh, it's not going to happen like that. Um, it, what's going to happen is the, the lawyers are going to start attacking bits and pieces of it. They'll go after the solvent traps. To go after the force reset triggers, to go after the bump stock. These are all going to be separate cases. And this is good because right now we're on the offensive, right? Uh, and what we don't want to do is we don't want to attack the gun controllers, you know, where, you know, where they're the strongest, where they can unite. We want to attack them from all directions, um, you know, every day, constantly, okay? Uh, and the way that we're going to do this, we're going to do this is with lots of small lawsuits that target, uh, you know, small individual infringements on gun rights. So uh, I just want you guys to pay attention to that because you're going to hear this phrase over and over again. You're going to hear about the unqualified command uh, of the Second Amendment. This is now an old word that is coming to the front, you know, it's coming back into our language, okay? Uh, I've never heard of that word, put that phrase, put that way, uh, anywhere except, you know, anywhere outside of accounting and auditing, okay? Uh, but all of a sudden now, this is going to become a very common word that you guys are going to hear. The word unqualified means without exception. Remember that, okay? Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you guys are following me on my uh, on my uncensored channels on Odyssey. I'm Pocono Tactical. On Rumble, I'm Pocono Guns. My backup channels on YouTube are Absolute Gun Rights, a Pocono Shooting. And then I got the original Tsafa channel that goes back to 2006. I'll talk to you guys soon.